Was well, Sammy too, fam? All right, so this is kind of like a 90s inspired hairdo that I, I love. Like I see a lot of people in movies and stuff do it. Um, what's it? Legally Blonde, she did it. Um, there's another couple movies that um, this is like very popular. So if you guys like this look, if you think I'm slaying. Oh, and Peep the Fat Farm shirt and it's Fat Albert. All right, so if you guys like this look, stick to the video right now. All right, so I'm gonna start off. Well, I had two braids already yesterday, so I just take these out. And then, no matter what, I always make sure I put a little bit of oil on my hair. Like, um, so I use, y'all already know from the last video, I use this 100% um, Jamaican black, I mean, uh, <laughs> black sea oil by Shea Moisture. And I also use um, Jamaican black castor oil, that's why I was about to say it. And then I also use some um, do grow oil. But I mostly use the Dugar oil every few days. I don't use it every single day. Put that on my ends because I got to protect these ends. Then you can um, wet your hair a little bit. So I kind of, my hair is still a little, a little damp. So I'm just going to get my brush, Eco Styler Gel. And I always do it like this because it like distributes it so good. Then I brush down and you try to make it as slick as possible because of the fact that it's like slick ponytails and then you add in hair. So when you add hair, you want your hair to be as neat as possible. Make sure it's real. Let me scoot up closer to y'all. Make sure it's real good and slick. If you need to apply more gel, apply more gel. You can never be too slick. Can I get the back good? Then, okay, so y'all see how slick I got it. This, I'm not worried about this because I'm about to do my edges. See how slick it is, tight? It's not too tight to where it's breaking off the nape, but it's still tight enough that it's not gonna go nowhere. Then I get my scrunchie. I have this scrunchie is really, really loose because it's for thicker hair. So I'm going to do it a few times, a few times. Bruh. Oh. <gasps> Guess what I'm going to do? Tie it back together and we're going to proceed. That's what we're going to do. Don't y'all hate that? Don't y'all hate that? Like, it seems like no matter what you do, like, know how gentle you be, it seems like your scrunchie always breaking, but I fixed it. Even though it looks all raunchy, it's still going to do the job, so. Brush it back up, get it back real slick. Be popping. All right. And then just what I said, do. Make sure it's tight enough to keep, to... Suppress no, so it could be no slitch slippage, but not too tight to where it's breaking off your circulation. <laughs> You're gonna be dying to be cute. All right, this side is good. I'm just gonna twist this in a big twist, like a dookie twist, just so to hold the um, just to hold the place, make it be neat to the process, and then other side black sea oil I'm like in love with this y'all this made my edges growing everything like I told y'all in the last video and you guys um like this video if you guys want a video um talking about edges like to how to grow your edges and keep and maintain the health of your edges and keep them slick and laid down and all that extra cuz I got tricks for every hair type, like literally, every single hair type. Ooh, this side a little. Let me get with it. Ooh, Jesus. So y'all, my friend, she from, she's from here originally, like she's from Atlanta, born and raised. And y'all let me know if that's just, uh, Atlanta thing, but she calls like your edges. Like if you got like 
untamed edges. She call them can't you, don't you? <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, what? She said, yeah, can't you, don't you? Butt mix? I said, what? What? Y'all, I'm originally from California. We call them edges, hairline, baby hairs. Not no dang, can't you, don't you, no butt mix. Y'all let me know if if that's just a southern thing. Because that junk is funny. Or if y'all say it. Let me know if y'all say it as well. Alright, then I got my other broke, broke scrunchie. <laughs> I'll be using and abusing my scrunchies, y'all. Ooh, the last straw. <sighs> Guys, okay. Now, we got that good. I'm going to twist this one and then go to this part and I'm going to show y'all how to, how to get it popping. You feel me? All right, now that we got this piece right here, then we're going to get some braiding hair. I chose that. I chose blonde today because, you know, I like to mix it up, mash it up, you know. I sound like such a head ass. I really don't want it this long, so I might cut it in half. I want it thick, but I don't want it long. I don't want it real, real long. I just want it long enough. I got some tangled pieces, so I'm trying to undo that. <laughs> Embarrassing. Couldn't find shears, so I just got some scissors. Still gonna work. And cut, and cut, and cut, cut. Break this in half, boom. Then I'm gonna start. There we go. Then I'm gonna get half of that half to start at the top, just like that. Then I kind of make it uneven because you don't want it looking square and stuff at the bottom. I like it to look as natural as possible. I'm gonna let me comb this out a little bit or detangle whatever brush, whatever you like to call it. Brush it out, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Then I'm gonna grab like one third, no, one third and then two thirds. Flip it over. Then it's gonna be in three like that. Then I grab three sections, kind of like I'm feeding in. And then I squeeze up as I'm braiding. I make sure I braid up so that it can blend as good as possible. And then really, really soon we're about to add the other piece. Then this is not going to be into three. It's going to be just like that, just in half. And you add it towards the middle. And you proceed to braid. Make sure you grab it real slow and tight. Especially if you're not really fond of feet and braiding. Make sure you move slow. Alright, so I went ahead and did the two braids. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm going to do the edges. The fun part. Alright, so... You see, I'm running out of my eco style, but I'm, I'm once I get when I once I write under this, I'm gonna start using the flexi one. I already told y'all about that one. That one was that one is like amazing. But put it on my brush. Let me scrape a little bit off. This is a little too much. Okay. Then you can kind of already see how I do my edges. Okay, that's gonna have to go somewhere else for right now. Scrape it like that. Start my start my blueprint like I always do. A little bit of loops, but not too much, not too crazy. But you know I'm gonna be popping though, regardless. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and watch that video. I'm gonna put a um, put a link somewhere around here so you guys can go and see it. Yes. Hold on. Okay, let me use this one. 
I got been using. I be like moving so slow, trying to be intricate. If that's even how you use the word. <laughs> okay. Ooh, mm -mm. All right, while I'm doing this, see you guys. Oh, this is pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to, you know, slick this up a little bit more. You guys go like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you guys want more videos like this where I'm doing kind of like how-tos and, and all that good jazz, just put a link in my description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video.